Hello and welcome everyone to the session on learning RPA with UiPath. So in this session, we will try to go through a problem where we will try to extract the tabular information from one of the user interfaces and then try to dump the extracted data into an Excel file. So here we are going to consider uh, UiPath blocks web page. So we will visit the UiPath blocks web page from where we will try to extract the title and the associated URL as well as the uploaded date of the blocks listed out in the blocks web page. Okay. So for this we will be using a special feature available in UiPath which is table extraction. So using this table extraction wizard we should be able to extract the information from the web page and then ultimately we will try to store it in one of the Excel workbooks. Okay, so let us go back to UiPath Studio and then here I have uh, a sequence already being created for table extraction and this is my UiPath blogs page. Okay, so from this we would like to extract the title of the blog as well as the URL associated with it and also the date on which it has been published. So these are the three information we would like to extract from this user interface okay so let us go back to UiPath studio and then uh, we'll use this table extraction feature which is available in the ribbon okay so let us click on this so once you click on that automatically UiPath will allow you to select the elements from the user interface so uh, let me just click on this so the first thing that I would like to extract is the title of the block. So I'll say extract text. So I need to give a column name. So here I'll say title and then I'll say confirm. Okay. And the next thing that I would like to extract from this user interface is the URL associated with it. So for that, I'll just click on save select data to extract once again. And then this time I'll select the title again. But the change that I would like to make here is to extract the URL, not the text. Okay. So I'll say URL. So automatically it has detected that it is extracting URL. Okay. And one more thing we would like to extract from this user interface is the date of publishing. So I'll just select this. Okay. And I'll say extract text and let us give a name for this say published date okay fine and then let us confirm this fine and then there is one more option called as extract data from multiple pages so blocks listed out in the uh, web page might be in multiple number of pages with the concept of pagination so that's why if we would like to go through several pages and extract this the blocks listed out in them so for that let us enable this so to work with this we should be able to select the next button okay we should be able to select the next button which is available so that it can go through the next set of pages and then extract the information so let us select this next button so that it can go through automatically the next set of pages and extract the information okay so right after this we are done so let us save and close okay fine so let me drag and drop this inside the sequence yeah so we have it now so the entire stuff is going to extract the information from the user interface and whatever is extracted will be stored in one of the variables called as extract data table okay so if you visit the variables panel we can see there it is extracted extract data table in the form of data table as its variable type so two of them are being created here so let me just delete one of them okay fine so once we extract it is going to be stored in extract data table okay 
so after this the next task is to store it in one of the excel files so to work with excel files one of the things that is required is you should have a package of excel so if you visit the manage packages section here you must be able to have uipath.excel.activities okay so if you don't have it you have to add it so that you can work with the excel files and then you just search for excel in the activities panel and you must use excel process scope initially so that it will allow you to work with excel files and one of the other activity that you must use is use excel file okay so this use excel file will allow us to choose the file which we would like to use so let me just browse for that file okay so from the project folder i have already created one of the excel files called as blocks so let me choose that okay and in this we would like to dump the extracted data okay so in order to dump the extracted data tabular data into excel file we have an activity called as write data table to excel okay so let us use this write data table to excel because whatever the data that we have extracted from the user interface is going to be stored in the form of data table okay so that we would like to dump it in excel file okay so two things are to be configured in write data table to excel activity one of the them one of them is what to write so we would like to write extracted data extract data table okay and the destination where we would like to add this is excel file that to in the sheet one okay and uh, if you would like to append you can append it but currently we are not appending anything here so i can just keep it as it is exclude headers yes if there are any headers already available then it will exclude header and then further try to add the next set of information okay so let us check that if we go to project and then folder yeah so if we visit the blocks excel file we will come to know whether we yeah so we don't have the header so here i'll say title and then the url and then published date okay fine so we'll save this and then we'll close this excel file and if we come back to uipath studio and then now i can say exclude headers right so it will exclude those headers and then further it will try to add the data table into the excel file okay so let us run this automation and see how it works so initially it will try to access the blogs page and extract the information which is in tabular format see you can see there automatically it is going through next set of pages and extracting the information that we have indicated okay so it will go through several pages and then tries to extract the information from the blocks page okay so it is extracting the information and now it has dumped it into the excel file okay it has stopped the execution you can see there in the output panel it has worked out for 41 seconds and extracted the information from six different pages of the block okay it can extract more uh, data from other set of pages if you would like to extend the time at which it will try to run okay so now if we visit the excel file you can see there the data getting extract you can see there this is these are the titles and this is these are the urls associated with those uh, block titles and this is the date on which they have been published okay so such information is extracted from the user interface okay so this is how you are going to extract the information and then certainly try to store it in the excel file if you 
have understood this and liked the concept please hit the like button and share it to your friends thank you